Oh. Well, hello. Welcome to my humble abode. I was just um, looking at some moons. Have you ever heard the moon? I'm pretty sure you have. But you know very little about it? Well, that's what I'm all here for. Now today, we're going to talk about the moon. And you probably know it's been here for billions and billions of years, but... A lot of people have questions about the moon. Does it rotate? How long it revolves around the Earth? Like, what are the different kinds of moon sides? Well, I'm gonna just tell you all about that now. Now, if a lot of people ask, how long does the moon take to revolve around the Earth? Now, I think it takes about you know, roughly 27 days. I think that's why they, they have months to the revolve around the actual Earth. I'm not quite sure though. And a lot of people wonder why does the moon look at like? Why do we see the same side of the moon? Because the moon rotates the same rate as the Earth does on its spin axis, which makes it look like the same side of the moon. Even though it is in fact rotating, you just can't see it because the Earth is rotating also. And people are like, how long does it take for the moon to orbit the Earth? Again, it's 27 days. And for it to revolve around the Earth, it is 29 days actually that's a cool thing people ask how long it takes for the moon to orbit the earth which is 27 days and that's probably why we have months now people ask about what the different phases of the moon is and I'm about to show you that real quick right here as you can tell we have waning crescent new moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous and third quarter some of you might think hey what's a lunar eclipse eclipse in which the moon appears darkened by the earth's shadow and don't get it confused with a solar eclipse a solar eclipse is when the sun is obscured by the moon you're probably wondering what keeps the moon so close to the Earth. And believe it or not, it, it's actually the sun's gravitational pull that's keeping the moon with the Earth. And some people ask if we actually get to see the entire moon itself. And that would be cool, but no. Because since we only see one side of the moon, there's always another side that is covered up that we cannot see. And... Our last but not least question of the day what impact does the moon have on the earth now this is a great question it's probably one of the most important ones the moon the moon's gravitational pull can influence and distort or even pull oceans and water from the earth and it can distort them either way it causes tides and waves and all of the sort and the water that's closest to the moon gets most affected by this and it depends on where the moon is at the time <laughs> well i hope you guys all enjoyed our little pep talk and i know a lot about the moon and i hope you do now too I hope all these questions answered your answer, because when the question's answered, then you answer a question and stuff like that. Well, see you guys next time. Peace out.